All right, guys, um, we're back here again in teardown with this um, LBZ Duramax. And unfortunately, the meat wagon has already hauled this thing away. We were too late to the party. Uh, teardown <laughs> was uh, uh, on their game and they went ahead and got this thing disassembled before we could get to it. So I'm sorry for the, uh, the disappointment here. So we're left with a bag of parts here, but we've got the pistons that actually came out of this thing and there still is a story to be told. I initially thought that this was a cracked piston. Um, if you remember, I think in the last video, I want to say this was a hole that I suspected, but the actual hole for causing uh, the blow by that we were seeing is this hole next to it. Um, there's some major scoring that's in that cylinder. What causes a major scoring of the cylinder is obviously an overheating condition. Now, when we start looking at these pistons, there's light scuffing. It's not excessive, not, not horrible on this one, but on the skirt, you'll notice that there is some, um, uh, there's actually some scuffing going on there. So one of the things that you're going to see, let me grab another piston. I've got a piston that's actually in pretty decent shape, um, comparatively speaking. And if we look really close, you're going to see a light mark. And that mark is basically where that ring is lapped into the cylinder wall. Okay. But this one's really, really, really small. Okay, so that marks pretty, um, pretty hard to see on this piston. On another piston over here that we've got sco some scoring on the skirts, if we look at the same ring, what you're gonna see is a lot wider area. Okay, so if you compare the two, you can see that one of these things was um, living a lot different life than the next. If we look at this top of the, the piston, you can start seeing this scuffing on the top. So this piston got really, really hot. If we look at the front of this piston, you can start seeing the discoloration. And on the back of the piston, you also see the discoloration. This one, it's actually only on one side. This actually looks pretty good. And there's a little bit of discoloration on this side. So this piston was getting a lot hotter than the rest of them. So what happened is that the ring land began to wear. And what happens when that takes place is this ring is not supposed to be able to move or rock. And once it begins to be able to tilt, now we have a wider pattern for the ring because it's actually contacting. Now it's got a, got a because it's rotating, it's, it's going about kind of a radius, right? So it's got a point of rotation. So because it's rotating about its, um, an axis, now we have a wider wear pattern. So that wide wear pattern is contributing to the amount of blow by that we were seeing before we took this engine and we tore it down. So what causes this kind of failure? Overheating conditions, uh, clogged piston cooling jet sometimes can cause this, running dirty oil. Um, sometimes it can be a coolant condition because uh, coolant pumps, thermostats, anything of that nature can all cause uh, these type of failures. So if you want to keep your engine running healthy, then make sure that these things are optimal. Clogged radiators, um, fan clutches working correctly. All these things are necessary to make sure that your engine is going to maintain its, uh, its health Anytime that you have an overheating condition like this engine did, there's always cause for concern of uh, ring tension loss. So what happens is, is when the engine overheats, that heat transfer from the piston into the cylinder wall is absorbed through the ring. And then that anneals the material in the ring and that will cause a loss of tension. And when you have loss of tension, then you're obviously going to have more blow by. Uh, you're going to have poor ring sealing. You're going to have uh, poor combustion event, events taking place. Um, you're going to have a, a lot of, of side effects that are, are less than desirable. So those are some things to consider about your coolant system and how important it is. Anytime this takes place, these damages are irreversible. It's not like you can just top this off with coolant and go on about your way. These are things that are going to have to be addressed. And sometimes it will, uh, in this case, cause for a, for a major overhaul. A lot of folks might look at the pictures and say, well, the guy could have just hand honed that and ball honed that and put another piston in it and sent it out the door. The problem with it is, is that that wear that you see with those scoring marks, they're well 10 thousandths deep uh, at least. So that's past the point of any repairs that you're going to be able to make inside the vehicle. The engine block's going to have to come out. It's going to, have to go to a machine shop and it's going to have to be addressed there. So these are some things to consider when you're talking about um, engine temperatures and the effects of it. And so that's really important to, to keep in mind. It wasn't the failure of a Zuzu or them building a, an engine on a, on a Monday or on a Friday. It had everything to do with ownership responsibility. And, you know, that's important. And for the guys watching, I want to make sure that you guys 
you know, we're trying to put these videos together, not just for the entertainment of uh, tearing these things down and finding out what's going on, but also what you can do to make your engine live longer, happier life. So thanks for watching and we'll catch you on the next one.